what is the benefit of stem mastering over stereo mastering? Now, the one big benefit is that stem mastering, we have the ability to balance your mix. Whereas stereo mastering, all we have is your stereo mix, and that's what we have to master. So we have no way of, let's say, balancing the kick, pushing the increase in the gain on the kick, independently of the rest of the song. We can obviously do that in stereo mastering with EQ, but we don't physically have each individual stem to be able to go this one here, this here. Let's say for argument's sake, and this is the example that I give everyone when they ask me this question, I give the same example, is because it's a, it's a common thing, is let's say for argument's sake, the bass is too loud in the mix. And when mastering, we need to bring that bass down. If we have a stereo file, the way we bring that stereo, that, that bass down, is EQ, or compression, multiband compression, EQ. We have different, different ways of doing this. But generally speaking, EQ will just bring that low end down. Now the issue with that is, is if we use EQ to bring that bass down, now let's say for argument's sake it's 6 dB too loud, we have to bring that bass down. Now, if we bring that bass down, we lose all the body and the weight and the low end that is in every other sound that's down there. So let's say the kick, the kick loses some of that weight because we can't, we don't, it, 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 the kick and the bass are kind of sitting in the same frequency range. So if you if you reduce the bass in a stereo file, you also reduce the uh, the bass that's in the kick drum as well. Now the difference is is that let's say we have stems and we have the bass as an independent stem, the kick as an independent stem. We can adjust that mix perfectly. So let's say the bass too loud. Let's just bring the bass down. We can use gain to just bring that bass down to where it should be. Now that, that mix is running perfectly into that master chain. Another thing is things like the kick. Let's say the kick needs some more weight. It, it can benefit from, let's say, some EQ that's independent from everything else. We don't want to add EQ to the bass. We don't want to add EQ to anything else. But we want to add some light EQ to give that kick some more kind of um, weight and oomph and it just needs a little bit now what we can do in stem mastering is we can give it that little bit of oomph we can give it that eq we can add an eq to just that uh, stem and we can increase that 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 weight into that kick drum we can't do that with stereo because if we do that we're then everything around it the bass anything that's in the low end anything that's around that frequency range the, it all gets affected because it's over the master. So there are two massive benefits uh, of stem mastering. The other thing with stem mastering, um, it's more to do with the balance, the balance that we can put into that master. So what we, what the way we can balance each sound, and you know, even just a, a, a dB on something up the top, a dB here, there, even just those small little. Um, changes that we make to the balance means that that master goes uh, that mix goes better into that master chain hits the threshold perfectly hits the mastering equipment perfectly we can then achieve a better master what we can also do is once we achieve the master that we we like and like that is the master yeah that sounds brilliant we can then go back into the adjustments as well so we can go right well we can get a little bit more of that out so we can bring that up slightly once it's mastered so we can make all these different changes at different stages of the mastering chain and make make them um by 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 doing all sorts of different things there's so much we can do with stem mastering that we can't do with stereo mastering because the problem with stereo mastering is that we only have the stereo master. So if there's a if something's not right on the producer's end, where they're producing it, mixing it, whatever, if if they haven't done something correctly, there we have very little ability to change it. We can obviously, you know, we work magic on on some tracks where there are fundamental errors in the mix, um, and we can fix that in the master. But you should never fix in the master. But we do have the ability when mastering with stems 
to adjust that mix. Now the stems, when the playback of the stems, the stems play back exactly as the stereo mix. So there's no difference here. It's just giving us as engineers more control over that master uh, and more control over the mix and more control over what you've done to be able to change certain things.